good morning everyone so today we are going to cover some discrete random variables and then we will discuss some questions based on those random variables or discrete distributions so to begin with let us consider a question which says that a die is tossed five times what is the probability of getting exactly two fours so what it is saying is that you make five trials and out of five trials you are looking for two successes yes so this directly corresponds to binomial distribution of binomial random variable which says that number of successes among n trials and it makes sense if you see the distribution because out of five trials you are looking for two successes now probability for getting a four so there are six numbers for each number the probability is one by six so you are looking for two four so one by six multiplied by one by six it means for the other if you are not getting four then its probability is five by six so this is how you can compute it so 5 by 2 and then 1 by 6 whole square and 5 by 6 cube so this is binomial random variable where expectation please do remember these formulas expectation is np variance is npq where q is 1 minus p and moment generating function is given as follows to understand the next one let's see the question where you have to select five cards from a deck of 52 playing cards what is the probability of getting exactly two red cards now you need to first see how it is different from binomial so we are not saying that out of 52 what is the probability of getting two red cards no out of 52 you pick five and out of five you are looking for two so if you see there are total 52 cards out of 52 there are 26 red cards and 26 are not red it means that what you want is out of 52 you want to pick 5 cards there is no order for it now out of these 26 cards you are looking for 2 red cards it means for the remaining 26 you are looking for 3 more cards so this is known as hypergeometric distribution so here you have a population of n individuals so in this case n is 52 then there are n successes in the population so capital m is 26 26 red cards are already there then you take a sample of n individuals so small n is 5 and out of 5 you are looking for two cards so x is 2 so this is how it is given h of x is 2 then 5 then 26 and then 52 and distribution we have already discussed so mx so that's why it is 26 2 and n minus m which is 26 and small n minus x which is 3 and then 52 c5 again you can remember the other things expectation x and variance x we will discuss this part later on that we got all these values directly from the table the only thing which need to be identified from the question is which distribution it is so a pediatrician wants to recruit five couples which are expecting their first child now if p is 0.2 what is the probability that 15 couples must be asked before five are found to agree to participate again you realize that it is not directly binomial or hypergeometric because what you are looking for that when you see 15 couples what is the probability of getting five successes or the last one is success it means that out of 15 you are looking for 10 failures so what is the probability of getting 10 failures so this is known as negative binomial distribution which says that number of failures so in this case it is 10 
that precede the rth success so fifth success so it means r is 5 again the idea is very simple if you apply it then in this case we know that fifth is success so remaining are 14 out of 14 you are looking for four successes which is same as 14 c 10 both are equal which means either you are looking for 10 values or four successes multiplied by probability is 0.2 and rest to the power r because you are looking for five successes and the remainings are the value so q so 0.2 and 0.8 and rest to the power x which is 10 value so this is known as negative binomial random variable so you can see that it is denoted as nb so nb for x is 10 r is 5 and p is 0. so the answer is 14c4 or 14c10 0.2 rest to the power 5 0.8 rest to the power 10 so again from the table we can find that it is equal to 0 0.034 again remember the expectation and variance so r q by p and r q by p square <coughs> the next question says that people are selected randomly for a drug test each person passes the test 98 percent of time what is expected number of people we need to find the expectation who take the test until the first person fails so it talks about number of trials to get first success in negative binomial you are looking for number of trials to get fifth sixth or these kind of the successes this is a special case when number of the trials before first success so it is known as geometric distribution which talks about number of trials to get first success so this is how it is given it makes sense q raised to the power x minus 1 because these are the failures and p is the probability for getting the first success expectation variance are given as follows so in this case you are asking for the first person fails now the probability is given that it passes 90 percent 98% of time it means that it fails 0.02 percent and you need to find the expectation so expectation is 1 by 0 0.02 which is 50 it means that 50 persons need to be tested until the first person fails the test okay so four kind of the distribution we have discussed binomial hypergeometric negative binomial and geometric so binomial talks about number of successes among n trials hypergeometric has a population of capital n individuals out of which there are capital m successes now you take a sample of small n individuals and you want to find the probability of capital x is equal to x which means number of successes in the sample of size small n the next is negative binomial distribution which talks about number of failures that precede, precede the rth success so how many failures you get before rth success and the last one is geometric which talks about number of trials to get the first success so these are the four distribution the poisson distribution we will discuss in the uh, next lecture so now let's quickly see some questions based on these distribution so the first one says that a student want to write a paper for a course and it has two choices a and b for a he has to order two books for b he has to order four books and he believes that a good paper requires receiving at least half of the book the probability of receiving a book is 0.9 so we are asking what topic should this student choose to maximize the probability of writing a good paper so first thing recall that what is required to write a good paper if we choose topic a or topic b so for a writing a good paper he need 
at least half of the book so there are two books for topic a so he need either one book or two book or b at least half means either he need two book or three book it means that the first one is probability x is greater than equal to one but what is x yes so now x is number of successes among n trials so which means that it is probability of x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Total number of trials are 2 because only 2 books are there. The first talks about what is the probability of 1 success among 2 trials or the other one is 2 successes among 2 trials. It can also be seen as 1 minus probability of x equal to 0 which is more easy which is 1 minus now if you recall the binomial distribution then it is 2c0 ncx now the probability is 0.9 and x is 0 and q raised to the power 2 you can further simplify it for the other part you are looking for probability of x greater than or equal to 2 which is 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 1 Again, it is binomial distribution, but n is 4. In rest, you can try by yourself. So, you can see the answers here. You can match, but the important point is, you must be able to identify that you are talking about binomial distribution. So, let's move further. It has one more part that if you change the probability from 0.9 to 0.5, the procedure would remain same. So please do try it by yourself. The next question says that there is a Chebyshev inequality which is as follows. Probability of mode x minus mu is greater than or equal to k sigma where mu is mean and sigma is the standard deviation <clears throat> now x has possible values and the probability which means probability of x is equal to minus 1 is 1 by 18 which is same as probability of x is equal to 1 and probability of x equal to 0 is 8 by 9 we need to find the probability of mode x minus mu is greater than or equal to 3 sigma Now distribution of x is given so we need to find mean and standard deviation mean means expectation everyone knows how do we find the expectation so expectation x is minus 1 multiplied by 1 by 18 plus 1 multiplied by 1 by 18 plus 0 multiplied by 8 by 9 now for variance x we need expectation x square minus expectation x whole square expectation x is 0 it means we simply need expectation x square expectation x square so instead of x i should do x square so minus 1 square which is 1 multiplied by 1 by 18 plus 1 square multiplied by 1 by 18 1 by 18 plus 1 by 18 gives you 1 by 9 so this means I am looking for probability of x minus mu which is 0 greater than or equal to 3 times standard deviation. So variance has been computed, standard deviation is square root variation which is 1 by 3. So 3 multiplied 1 by 3 so I am looking for mode x is greater than or equal to 1. Yes. Now what is this probability? So first simply realize that for what values of x because x can have only three values minus 1, 0 and 1. For what values of x mode x would be greater than equal to 1. So if x is 0 it is not possible but if x is minus 1 and 1 it is possible. It means it is probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to minus 1. That gives you the required. <clears throat> it also asks that how does it compare to the corresponding bound bound is 1 by k square now 
here simply k is equal to 3 so 1 by k square is 1 by 3 square which is 9 it means if you compare it with the bound it is equal to the bound so it satisfies the Chebyshev inequality because this should be less than equal to k square The next part says that give a distribution for, let's write it here, it's not very difficult, probability of x minus mu greater than equal to 5 sigma is equal to 0 0.04. Yes, now if you see then 0 0.04 is same as 1 by 25. So in the previous case, we got probability of x minus mu greater than or equal to 3 sigma is 1 by 9, so which is 1 by 3 square. Or 3 got replaced by 5. And we need to write down the distribution. So when 3 got replaced by 5, then we must choose probability of x is equal to minus 1. There it was 1 by 18. Now it should be by 50 because earlier it was 1 by 9 multiplied by 1 by 2 now it is 1 by 25 multiplied by 1 by 2 which is also equal to probability of x is equal to 1 and probability of x is equal to 0 is 24 by 25 you can verify by yourself that if you choose so this is not the unique distribution there are many combinations which can gives you this answer but what we are looking for is the simplest option so that's why i choose probability of x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 is equal to 1 by 50 following the part a and x is equal to 0 is 24 by 25 the next part says that instead of the distribution which was given Let's assume that it is binomial distribution and parameters are given. So if it is binomial distribution, then we already know that what is mu. <coughs> so probability of mode x minus mu is greater than equal to for k is equal to 2 and 3, 2 sigma. This is what need to be computed. Now mu is equal to np n is 20 p is 1 by 2 so it is 10 standard deviation you need to compute npq under root npq so it comes out to be 2.236 and 2 sigma is 4.47 it means that it becomes probability of x minus mu which is 10 greater than or equal to 2 sigma 4.47 so again you have to see that for what values of x mod x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 4.5 yes so for sure if you take x greater than or equal to 15 because 15 minus 10 which is 5 5 is always greater than this number or if you take x less than or equal to 5 so x less than or equal to 5 even you take 5 5 minus 10 which is mode of minus 5 is 5 it is always if you take 4 4 minus 10 is 6 and so on so now the only thing is that we need to use the table because we need to find the values of probability of x less than equal to 5 plus probability of x greater than equal to 15 so please do see the CDF or binomial distribution from the table, verify the answer and try it for k is equal to 3 and repeat the result for n is equal to 20 and p is equal to 0.75. All those answers are mentioned here, so you can try all of them by yourself. Yes, the next question is very interesting. It says that 20 pairs of individuals are playing in a bridge tournament have been seeded 1, 2, 3, 20. Now 20 are randomly divided into 
two kinds one is two categories 10 east west players and 10 north south players what is the probability that x of the top 10 pairs end up playing east west first try to identify what distribution it is see we can solve it without distribution also if we have to leave the answer in terms of simply the probabilities but if you have to give the exact number we need table and for that distribution must be identified so you can see so many numbers are there 20 then 10 then x then 10 so of course the population is 20 now x of the top 10 pairs so top 10 pairs so 10 pairs have been picked a sample of size 10 playing east west now how many players are playing east west how many pairs 10 so capital m is 10 so now i have to find h of x to the x of the top then small n 10 capital m 10 and capital n 20 so it is 10 cx out of 10 i need x because and out of the remaining 10 i need 10 minus x and out of 20 I need 10 <clears throat> the next part says that all of the top five pairs end up ending up playing same direction try to see that capital N remains 20 but what would be your M what would be your N and what would be your X so it says that all of the top five so top 5 is the sample and all top 5 so x is also 5 so what is m it is saying playing up same direction so there are two possibilities for m either east west or north south in both the cases m would remain 10 it means that you have to add h x then 10 5 20 plus h 5 10 5 20 solve it the answer is here the next part is simple it is just the generalization so instead of 20 they wrote 2n and here top n pair so again x is equal to n and they have written m is also n and capital M is also N and then you need to compute the expectation variance for X so we know the formulas and using the formulas you can substitute all these values it is simply the generalization so let's not go into much detail the next one says that literacy rate is 12% which means your probability is 0.12 that x is the number of women who ask you ask until one says she is literate. So number of trials before getting first success. Recall what distribution it is. So it is geometric distribution. So if you have to write the probability distribution for this one. So q times x minus 1 and p where p is 0.12 and what is the probability that you ask five women before one says she is literate it means that you take x is equal to five the last part says that find the mean and standard deviation for x which means for the if you remember the formula directly then substitute it we have discussed expectation x is 1 by p and variance x is q by p square here also there is a derivation which is given to compute expectation x and variance x for geometric distribution it's simple mathematics if you see by yourself you must be able to do it by yourself Again, moment generating function, I believe you must be able to do by yourself. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Probably 
the last question so it says that <clears throat> the probability that a randomly selected box of certain type has a particular price is 0.2 suppose you purchase box after box until you have obtained two of these price prices what is the probability you purchase four boxes first try to understand what we are looking for and how it can be addressed which distribution we are talking about so you purchase box after box until you have obtained two of these prices so it means you are looking for the two successes among four trials if you compare it is negative binomial here capital X number of failures before second success it is 2 and R is 2 so negative binomial with probability point so if you use the formula then you can get the correct answer there is one more quick question which says that a director interviewing 11 senior engineers for four jobs openings has scheduled six interviews for the first day and five for the second day how many of the top four candidates can be expected to be interviewed on first day expected to be interviewed whenever this word comes expected it means that we need to find the expectation and if we have to find the expectation we must know which distribution we are talking about so if you see here there is a population of 11 6 are interviewed so capital M is 6 how many of the top 4 so top 4 it means you take a sample of and then you find the expectation which is N M by N so which gives you the required answer so that's it from today's class in the next class we are going to talk about poison distribution and poison process thank you